Oh. My. Gosh. You guys. Look at this! Look at this! I just jumped back onto Farmville to take care of our farm a little bit and already we have something amazing! A ranger? A ranger with woodland creatures? I've got so many ideas for zoo crafting from that and I am so excited. Okay, so there's beaver. It looks like maybe an ocelot, perhaps? And then a squirrel. And so what Ranger Jane. So I guess if we help Ranger Jane out, we can potentially get one of these woodland animals. We have so many quests to catch up on. So I'm going to be very excited to see what happens. I want to see this Ranger Jane. Come on by, Ranger Jane. Look at the ranger station! <gasps> that gives me so many ideas. I am telling you guys, I get so many ideas from Farmville 2 for everything else. I am so excited about this. Imagine a cute little ranger station built like this for junior rangers in Sims 4 or even Sims 3 or 2. Ah, oh, that would be so cool. Anyway, Siri, meet my friend Jane. She's a ranger and she catalogs all sorts of woodland animals. Oh my gosh, hello Jane. Very, very, very happy to meet you. Nice to meet you, Siri. I think your farm is a perfect place to spot wildlife in the woods. Really? Oh my gosh. She's even got a little camera up there. Look at that. Is she just going to live on my farm now? Welcome, Jane. Go ahead. Come on in. Please don't take odd pictures of my darling. Only I can take those. All right. What are you doing? Keep an eye on you. All right. What did she say? I can see movement in the woods. Help me put, uh, photograph those animals and I'll help you around the farm. In a few... In the, the few weeks I'm here, I can help out with my amazing skills. That'll take your farm to the next level. Wow, thanks, Jane. I'm glad that you're so confident about the work you can do, too. So what can we do with Jane over here? Unlock the Ranger Outpost now. Help Ranger Jane complete her wildlife photo collection and unlock her special skills. So you get the Insta Bloom. Insta Bloom makes all of your crops and trees ready to harvest, fills all the wells, and makes all the animals hungry again. Oh, so it's like leveling up. That's so cool. So she can do Insta Bloom, unlimited water for 30 30 minutes, 8 uses, unlimited fertilizer for 30 minutes, 8 uses, and raise baby to adult. What's this? Instantly raise any 5 baby animals to adults. Dun dun dun! Alright, so like you can wait, and th so that's the special if I want to like buy and make this unlock very quickly, but I think if we come back in like 6 more days, then we'll have the ability to unlock this. So start early, get one week extra. Yeah, no, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. I will wait because I like the challenge of waiting. So Ranger Jane is going to hang out here at my farm but I am very very excited about that so that's really cool <laughs> and that's already just starting like oh that's just that's just like the first day I've been back I I know that we were just here yesterday and that was also the first day but as soon as I saw Ranger Jane I knew I had to come back for you guys and I had to tell you guys that something amazing was happening and look at Almond being a good dog Almond yeah digging me up extra heirloom crops good job Almond I'm so proud of you so I'm very interested to see um, how many people might stop by our farm to help out. And I'm also very, very interested to see uh, what other events are going on because I wasn't expecting to, oh my goodness, oh yeah, I missed that for a little water crop. Oh no, the taro is there. But yeah, I, I want to see what kind of other special events may be going on. That's something that always has appealed to me a lot about Farmville and appeals to me a lot about making Let's Plays, actually, is the seasonal events and all of the special events you can make happen. And I guess this little... Let's see. Yeah, you bailed out. Oh, okay, we're fine with the hay bales. So uh, I don't want to store the Halloween hay bale. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Here's Darling's hammock. Oh, man. Being back is so awesome. This is so cool. I have a feeling we'll get so many quests, like, constantly loading in and out. So I actually finished up fishing for men. Oh, my gosh, Barb. I actually finished up some of the other quests that I had to do for Barb. So we're actually on to part three of her fishing adventures. So Barb's fishing adventures, I think this is when she was still trying, like, the quests are kind of out of sync. So this is when she was maybe still trying to find her husband and now she's married and they've adopted this kidlet. Uh, but use two farmhands to help on the farm and then gather 40 bait from fishing. That You gather up bait from the water crops and make some sautéed catfish. That actually, I love the plate that's under, like the wood carved plate that's under the sautéed catfish. It makes me want to start like a fishing cafe that you have to, okay, we'll make two of those. Dun dun dun. Did that complete that or did, oh, I need to make three. Whoops-a-doops. 
and then we'll gather up that there we go so that is done so we'll see what we can do with barb's quest we'll see what we can do maybe with uh his little quest too so maybe i could speed grow the quinoa the queen quinoa and then get that going um all right and the animals are kind of hungry again okay we've got so many things to do i'm pretty sure that the pixel garden like group has been abandoned as it should have been because i totally like abandoned it i'm so sorry about that you guys can i uh like i kind of want to join a new co-op um because i don't want to start a new co-op when let's see yeah i need to like my co-op maybe leave because i'm pretty sure everybody else like i'm gonna leave the co-op sorry uh, are you sure you want to? You'll lose your map progress. I'm pretty sure because I don't think anybody has been on for a long time or I haven't been on for a long time. Can I leave the co-op? Sorry. <laughs> I left Pixel Garden uh, and there's a lot of co-ops like I could join just out of the blue. And I think I might do that just now. I'll just kind of hop around different co-ops for a little bit because I don't want to jo I don't want to start my new co-op. And it's really fun when you have co-ops with you. And it's really fun to do co-ops with you guys. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay as active. So if you guys want to make a co-op again, even if it's just maybe a temporary co-op, you let me know. And then we can definitely work on that. Um, but it looks like you can just jump in to pretty much like any join a recommended co-op. They have friends in them. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna jump into like maybe one of the biggest co-ops over here. Like this one, I guess. Can I just go ahead and join? Cool! And now I'm gonna try my best to like help out here. So what do you guys need? I'll do my best. Some wool! Sweet! So we just joined a random co-op and now I get to like help out. Cool! All right. Well, I'll help out as much as I can because I feel bad for disappearing from my other co-op. All right, and that's the maximum number of calls I can help out with. And then what is the co-op at? Next week, you'll play with your co-op. Okay, so it'll start next week when I can actually play with them. Maybe I'll, I'll not play. I don't know. Like, maybe I'll just have my own private little co-op again. I'm not really sure. Actually, now I'm tempted to, like, leave that co-op because I'm shy. So I don't know. Let me you know what you guys think. Those of you who have been playing Farmville for a while know how the co-ops work. And you need to have a co-op usually so you can get these favor points. And you want to grab those favor points. They're super important because those are what you use to get the really high fancy upgrades yay double favors the fancy upgrades for your farm so there's all sorts of special upgrades there's field upgrades which I definitely probably need to snag several more of there's upgrades for your water field there's upgrades for your farm like for your barn so you can store your animals upgrades for groves upgrades for feeding your animals let's see the power upgrade for the windmill the water upgrade water tower upgrade I'm not close enough to get the highest water tower upgrade but I probably should pretty soon another Another barn. I don't have this barn uh, unlocked actually because you have to get the level 100 before you can do that. And then the fertilizer upgrade. That would be a pretty nifty one to snag. <laughs> that really would actually. But I think I want to wait until I can get the water tower upgrade. So you need upgrades not only for all of those things. So all the upgrades, or you need favors not only for all the upgrades you can do around your farm, but you also need them, if I remember correctly, for breeding your horses. Dun dun dun! And I have one horse horse right here so I, it doesn't show the horse at the moment but I do have one good horse and I guess I have this good horse and so they could technically breed there's a good chance that the pedigree could be at the level two hmm and then see you can try breeding them can I see my horses at all okay it's kind of freaking out it's like I don't oh there we go well my horse is all just raced by okay so you can do the breeding barn and then oh I have so many horses my gosh all right, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of my different horses. So we'll go ahead and breed a couple of my horses together just to see what we might end up with. It'd be fun if you could bring breed with your friend's horses. There we go. So I have this handsome horse and I have this lovely horse. And now if I feed them some feed, I forgot I could boost the breed predictor for what they could have. Can I boost it into the high, like the next highest level? Oh, almost. Oh, oh, almost! We have a tier 3 breed! That's so cool! That's so cool! So we have another new horse! How fun! Welcome to the family, little guy! We're breeding up new foals! That's just so awesome! Let's go ahead and feed our horses so that everybody, everybody can be happy! Why not? I want to make sure that everybody is getting enough food. We've got our little baby, peer to the pedigree, like level 3 horse. Oh, I forgot how much I love all of this. 
All right, and we got another badge. I'm gonna have to check out our badges in just a little bit too. So we can grow up the baby in just a little bit here. And oh, while I am over here and skididdling around, gosh, I knew I would get so excited about being in Farmville again. I really need to make my, my yard look nicer. It really is just a gigantic mess of random things right now. So we'll make the yard look nicer. There's Thursday sniffing the gargoyle. But while we're over here, let's go ahead and snag some of those blackberries because they grow so quickly. And I can actually turn blackberries into quite a bit of... Do, 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 do. I can turn the blackberries into quite a bit of feed. And I just used up a lot of feed and my favor points <laughs> to be able to breed the horse to show you guys how it worked. Oh, and I missed a bit of rye up there. Oh, it's also messy. I can't wait to see what the special quests are. That's going to be so fun. I bet next time I come back, there'll be another special quest. In fact, I'll do that. We'll kind of tidy things up and we'll see what we can do for... There we go. We'll see what we can do for Barbara's quest. So we'll see what, if we can gather up some bait and use the farm hands. And then I might refresh for a moment because I have a feeling refreshing may bring us another quest because that often happens if you just as a tip, if you've been away from Farmville for a little while and you're kind of curious, like, hmm, I wonder what's been going on. If you actually refresh your screen a few times, you can usually have several of the quests pop up. So you can kind of catch up on the quests that are happening. But I want to grow these blackberries because if you look over here, the blackberries are worth eight feed. So that's really worth quite a bit. Whoop, there we go. I just realized you guys may not be able to see the mouse. So if you look over here, then you can see the blackberries are worth eight feet a piece. That's really useful. Also, look at all the cool food. I can come up with so many ideas for food from this game. I swear, I love it. I don't know why. Like pixel farming, pixel food. It's just fascinating to me. All right, we'll keep going. Watering all these things. There you go, everybody. Oh, and we'll go ahead and we'll fertilize just a few rows of this because we've been feeding the animals so much. There we go. So now we've got blackberries coming up and we want all those blackberries coming up because like I said, that, do, do, there we go, that is worth the feed and it grows in two minutes and there's not really anything else better than that. And when you have unlimited water, oh, so important to use that as often as possible. All right. So we took care of those blackberries. Come over here, use up some more of the fertilizer just in case. And then we've, we're starting to get some special letters and special deliveries from my friends. So I'll send more special letters and deliveries out. So excited about the ranger station. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about that. All right, good, good, good. So everybody seems like they're taken care of. So hang on just a second, Barb. I'm gonna double check what we need for this. The comeback shack. Gather 30 water crops. Well, that works out perfectly for Barbara's quest. So before I noticed that, uh, we needed to do those things for Barbara's quest and gather up the bait that is so to gather up bait You have to gather up water crops. I actually planted the taro which takes forever to grow We have 15 hours left on it, but I have speed grows So I'm gonna go ahead and use speed grow on the taro and then we'll gather that up the taro root All right, darling's going to it. He's gonna use the speed grow go darling go All right gather it up darling. Did we get some bait? Yay. We got a little bit of bait. Wonderful. So we got a teensy bit of bait there. And then let's see. What can what grows the quickest? Is there anything that grows pretty quick? Hmm. Not really. So pretty much anything we pick is going to need to be speed grown right now. So I'm just going to continue to work on this little water crop spot. And then, oh, it looks like I have, yeah, I've got the fuel again. Oh, uh, let's try out maybe some of the papyrus. There we go. We'll dry out the papyrus because you never know when you might need more of it. All right, and I'll gather that up. Oh gosh, we need to look at the badges soon too. So rangers and badges, that seems to be the the rule of the day. And then we'll gather up all of our blackberries in a moment. All right, so more taro root. So we've gathered up quite a few. And now I, I have a feeling we probably need to plant even more. Come on, come on little, no. You need to plant more taro root. Why can't I plant more? Oh wait, come on, click to plant. That's what I'm doing. Ah, all right, we'll look at that in a second then. I'll have them gather up all the blackberries for a moment. Yay, feed. Oh, I'm gonna have so many happy animals. I remember once upon a time when they had to eat chili pepper feed. <laughs> I don't think that would have made them very happy. All right, come on, there we go. All right, woo, look at all those blackberries. Man, all right. We gathered up, oh, I couldn't plant more taro. I gotcha. I couldn't plant any more taro because my dog was coming to dig some extra taro up for me. 
I got it now, because if you see, Almond is running around frantically digging up more like of the heirloom things as we plant. Oh, she's such a good dog. All right, and then while Lily is gathering up the other bits and bobs, I'm gonna come over with these blackberries. There we go. And plant more blackberries. Cause see, look at Almond go. <laughs> she's like, help. Digging up these gigantic blackberries everywhere. Almond, you're such a good dog. So many ideas for the farming side series. All right, let's go ahead and plant all those and plant up here. And then we'll gather up this. There we go, good job, Almond. That's a good blackberry that you gathered. Whoops, didn't mean to dig into my inventory. One of these days we'll glance into the massive stack of what's probably hiding in our inventory. All right, good. And managed to get all of the water from the well again. And then here we go, blackberries. I'm telling you, you guys, you can't waste the opportunity when you have unlimited water. That is not a time that you want to turn your nose down. All right. And then let's come over here and we'll plant some more taro root. We're planting so many taro root because they're worth 24 feed, which is a lot. It's like the highest amount of feed, I think, out of the water plants. And it definitely pays off, in my opinion. Oh, look, the cattails have this new conical hat you can make. That's adorable. It may have been there before, but I just don't remember it. All right, and we're going to water these guys. And then, let's see, water these guys. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, and there's some blackberries back there to harvest, too. All right, so we're almost done with the taro root. As boring as it may seem, we're we're taking good care of things. We're going to get this quest done. All right, come on, everybody. Come on, family members. There you go. Have I finished up the quest yet? Yeah, there we go. Bucks for bucks. The village grocer wants to reward you for the horseshoes with farm bucks. Nice job. Yay! Now what's next, my friend? Look at all that awesomeness. Oh, really? <laughs> two, oh, water two fields. I thought it said buy two water fields and I just about had a heart attack. But we're almost done, you guys. Oh man, and that one will level us up too. Oh boy. All right, well, maybe we could work on some of our other quests for that too. So that's pretty useful. So if we're about to face something where we're gonna level up, we definitely need to make sure we're ready for it. So let's see, what's the most expensive like highest level thing. I can't, oh, black orchids. I can't plant any of these other things just yet. Green beans actually are really great because they give you 21 or 23 feed, but tea plants, whoops, didn't mean to plant the tea plants. Tea plants are good if you're gonna go to sleep for the night because then you harvest them in the morning and they give you 21 feed, which is very nice. All right, so speaking of feed and fertilizer though, oh, there we go, gonna go harvest up some fertilizer. Then I'll harvest up all these blackberries. Dun, 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 dun. Look at all the blackberries. I, my family is gonna have such dirty fingers. Whenever we would go blackberry picking in my family in real life, you would get so dirty. You would just get so covered in little blackberry stains. So you, my mom would make us, like my grandma really is the one who took us, would make us put on like our play clothes so that they could just be filthy and stained. And now that I think about it, my grandma usually had play clothes for us because she would also do a lot of painting with us. So go grandma, you thought ahead. All right, and we'll go ahead and gather up these blackberries as well. Come on, family, help me out here. Almond, do you want to do some more digging? I wonder, Nutmeg, I think, is the one. So Almond is trained to dig up heirloom crops for us, and Nutmeg, our other dog, will actually get additional special drops from our animals. So that's what she does. All right, there we go. And then we want to make sure we have this planted with the best of the best things. So maybe some white snowflake flowers? Hmm. Maybe some more taro root. We'll just plant some more taro root over here. And then we'll fertilize pretty much all of the water fields, I think. Because the water fields are going to really produce quite a bit. So we'll fertilize the water fields. There we go. And then I'll feed the animals. <laughs> So I'll come over and feed the animals really well because we'll get a lot of fertilizer from them too. There we go, guys. Come on. Go ahead and eat up so I can have lots and lots of fertilizer, please. <laughs> Which sounds really terrible. Do I have fertilizer in my inventory, actually? I wonder. Oh, I've got so many certificates. It's going to be... Yeah, I've got fertilizer hiding in here. Possibly from my friends. So I'll go ahead and, and activate that. Wow, I've got a lot of things to dig in. We'll dig around with all this stuff later. Sweet, and we just got a prize chicken. Well, we'll sort out like which chickens we need to leave where in the future. For now, looks like Lily Girl is spreading the fertilizer out, which again, sounds gross, but it's actually super important. 
Oh, and we just completed another badge. Uh -huh -huh. And then let's see. So what did we need to do for his quest? Water 25 quinoa. Harvest 10 prized quinoa. Make some quinoa. Oh, and there we go. An Angora rabbit just became prized too. Man, things are really moving and grooving and pumping on the zoo, even though we're, we just got here. For the zoo, the farm. Jeez Louise, Siri. All right, so use two farm hands. We can definitely do that in a little bit. And then the quinoa breakfast muffins. What am I missing for those? I need more quinoa. That's the only thing. And it looks like raspberries are super important too. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we should have plenty. We'll plant some quinoa over here. We want to plant more or less like the most expensive thing if you know you're going to level up. But it's also helpful to plant some of the other things sometimes, like the tea plant. See, 12 hours. Plant that overnight. You'll have a lot of you'll have a lot to harvest. Green beans are so useful too. If I know I'm about to have an insta grow, then quinoa, that's only four hours. Should I speed grow those? Hmm. Hmm. The questions. The questions. Alright, so let's plant quinoa in my best spots. And then we'll water it. That should be 25 quinoa. Then we'll fertilize it with my bees. My bumblebees will be happy for that. There's a little bit of strategy that goes into it. All right, see, so now he's happy because I have now watered my quinoa. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have my bumblebees help me out so that I don't have to waste too much fertilizer. There we go. So now all of those are fertilized too. All of my taro root is fertilized. And I guess I could like speed feed some of my horses. When you speed feed your horses with super feed, you can get a lot of fertilizer <laughs> when you do that. You really can. So I'll go ahead and feed some of my horses with the fertilizer or the speed feed, and then I should get a lot more fertilizer from them as a result. Let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot how much I love this. It's just micromanaging. Oh yeah, look at all that fertilizer. Yay, all right. And I'm going to plant, what should I plant elsewhere? Like a bunch of green beans maybe? I think I'm gonna plant a ton of green beans because normally they take the longest out of anything I have. Well, cilantro takes the longest really. And now that I think about it, raspberries take a long time too. Hmm. Hmm, and cabbages take a whole day. So does asparagus. Oh, the choices, the many, many choices I could make right now on what to plant. Oh, it's so awesome when you know that you're about to sit back and, and just be able to savor everything insta-growing. So I think I'm going to plant some uh, raspberries. Whoa, okay. Another horse. Another horse just became prized. All right. Woo. Oh my gosh. We're just really on a roll right now. So I think I'm going to plant some raspberries. Bye, horse. He's off to the, the fields where they go when they become prized. And then plant some raspberries there. And I think I'm going to plant some asparagus over here. I am just so spoiled. This easy peasy moment, like these easy peasy times, they're going to vanish pretty soon. <laughs> All right. Do I have anything that I, I could make really quickly? Um, Heirloom autumn maple sap. Let's see. There's a whole bunch. There's a whole. Oh, look how many white roses you want. Are you kidding? No way, Franklin. Those are just, that's not even reasonable. All right, what about over here? Rye, I could probably make that rye batter. We'll work on orders another day, I think. But I'm kind of glancing over everything to see what we need to potentially invest in. Um, I think I'm just gonna plant a bunch of raspberries because I know raspberries come up in a lot of meals and raspberries are really hard to get my hands on. Like I'll plant raspberries and green beans. And, and cross my fingers that those were good decisions. <laughs> Plus, you know, raspberries are a very autumn-y thing to do. All right, so rangers and raspberries. And we'll water all of those and fertilize them to the best of my ability. And then back here, I guess I can plant something fancy. What's the fanciest thing? Like vanilla beans. I'll plant a whole bunch of vanilla beans back there. And then we are gonna enjoy insta-growing everything on the farm. All right, and I've been babbling too long, I know, I'm sorry. It's really tricky when you've got so much stuff going on all of a sudden. And asparagus, maybe? On the other side? Maybe. It would be fun to grow a bunch of white roses, actually. Um, yeah, I think we'll plant asparagus on the other side. Because I, I don't think I plant asparagus very often. Things that take a day to grow can often tie up your farm in unexpected ways. But I used to take things so seriously with Farmville. It gets stressful when you're trying to do orders and when you feel super responsible for the well-being of your co-op. <laughs> so now we're just kind of savoring it again. I mean, look at this thing. 
Look at this little, look at this little fire thing. Hey, hey, water, I need, I need water, please. I know I have it. All right, she's off to harvest the water. And while she's doing that, we will have my family come over and help me by fertilizing all the crops in our fields. They're probably gonna smell so nasty by the end of the day because they've been working so hard. <laughs> so my poor family, they're gonna smell weird. They're going to need like cleaned. Their clothes are gonna be filthy. The kids are probably gonna be thrilled because they're just going to be absolutely covered in like all sorts of unmentionable nastiness and blackberry jam and oh, that just cracks me up. All right, we're almost good to go. Thank you guys for your patience. I just, I have so much fun doing this. I need to organize my farm. We'll probably be doing a nice cleanup and like looking up in the attic, AKA looking inside of our inventory to see what the heck is stored everywhere very shortly. Wow, I can't believe I had enough fertilizer for that. Go horses, you guys worked hard. I can probably fertilize some of these trees too. Nice, all right, and now I'm running out of fertilizer, but that's okay. The horses did their job. In fact, I can probably even super feed a couple more horses, cause why not? All right, I'm gonna super feed a few more horses so I can get a little bit more fertilizer. And then I can make sure that every single last one of my trees <laughs> is prepared and ready to go. And then we will, oh, there's a spot that needs watered. Hiding back there. There we go. And everywhere that can be fertilized, I'll make sure we've got fertilizer spread. The tedious process of making sure you're prepared for a level up. Oh, wonderful. And then yeah, next time we'll dig around in my attic too. And we'll see what we have hiding in there because we might have something really fun when it comes to the Halloween decor. And I do want to kind of change up how my farm looks and I do need to start looking into expanding my farm because it's been so long. 93, come on. Oh man. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Actually, I can finally expand over here. I forgot you had to be specific levels. Yay. I can finally expand because we're going to level up. Oh, yay. All right. Bring it on. Let's make these porcelain mugs. I've got this. All right. We're going to make some porcelain mugs. How many did I need to make? Those are so cute. All right, three porcelain mugs, done. And then what else do we need? I think we need to make crates of eggs on it. So 10 crates of eggs in my kitchen. Gosh, it's so cute in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Yes, we're, we're so glad that Green Farm is back in business. Welcome back, Syrian. Thanks for the help. Sweet, I have unlocked my new grove. I can make raspberry cheesecake. I can open up the new area. Yay, thank you. Welcome back, little little thingy doodle. Welcome back, Shack Shed. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's glorious. It's beautiful. Cornelius, Cornelius. I'm so happy to be back. You did it. The store is fully stocked. Thanks for coming back to the farm. There's tons of new things to do. Have fun, will do. Thank you, Cornelius. All right, you guys. Well, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's just so glorious. So I'm going to go ahead and start harvesting everything and watering everything yet again, because you really do not want to waste your day when you get all sorts of special prizes for returning. Don't waste it, you guys. It's definitely better. Ooh, look at that. Biggest quinoa yet. Definitely better to spend like a little bit of extra time like I am today planting everything on repeat because you're going to be really sad if you let all of that slip through your fingers. There we go. And now I've got taro root everywhere. It's just, it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to leave the family to actually go through all of this. And like I said, next time we'll start poking around at more of the new quest. We'll start poking around at what we need to do um, to actually get some of those quests up and going. We'll look at our badges. We'll try breeding up some fun horses. Sweet. Look at me go. I'm back in the Amber League. Oh man, wouldn't it be fun to make those kinds of like farming trophies on zoo crafting and share them with our friends? That would be so cool. All right. Well, we're doing good. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm hanging out there in the lead pretty good there. So we're doing really well and I'm having a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what happens when we manage to get the ranger outpost up and going in a few days. So, whoa, all right, now my pear tree is an elder. Gosh, so much going on. All right, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.